hello beautiful people and welcome back i hope you're all doing well enjoying the christmas period the festive period i don't know going out drinking having fun going to all these christmas parties events and shit so yeah glad to see you guys back and today's episode we have got a very good one in my opinion so i'm going to be going through styling one item and that is the classic blue denim jeans and the denim jeans that i'm going to show you guys today are these ones that i picked up from weekday so initially i was actually just going to show you guys one pair of jeans like the classic blue denim jeans but i thought let me show you two pairs one which is a wider leg fit and one which is more of a straight leg tapered fit and the reason that i wanted to show you two is because i th thought that they were quite interchangeable and they work well with both the looks so the first one that we have is this denim blue jeans from weekday and these are their galaxy jeans and the second pair that we have are these more dyed blue jeans and these are weekdays space jeans and the reason that I wanted to do this video and show you guys these looks is because they're very similar in terms of the silhouette to Levi 501. So if you don't want to spend loads of money, then weekday is definitely a great place to go. The only thing I would say is definitely go into the store and try them on because the denim blue jeans that I copped are in a size 29 waist and 32 length. And then the dyed space jeans, I copped them in a size 30 waist, 30 length. Anyway guys, let's go and pre the first look first way that I like to style trousers jeans in general is with a vest like if that's your bag then definitely chuck on a vest if it's not then you know it's not for you because like be many times where I'm out wearing a vest with my boys and then people are just taking the piss out of me and I'm just like I don't understand it's a vest and it looks good in my opinion it looks wavy if you don't like it don't like it but So with the first look, we've got the selected home loafers on foot, blue denim jeans, the vest, and then this flannel shirt from Uniqlo. And this is definitely a casual looking vibe and it gives a casual aesthetic. And of course, with the flannel shirt, you can swap it out for a denim shirt or a corduroy shirt, which would give you the same aesthetic. And with this look, you can have it with the shirt open, obviously to expose the vest, show the waistline, maybe you've got a belt on as well, or you could have it buttoned up where you can still see the chest, have a few buttons at the top undone too, which gives it still a nice vibe. And I think both of the looks work quite well. The second shirt look that I would go for is a bit more of a dressed up vibe. And the way that I would achieve this is through a leather look shirt or an over shirt, which are a bit more smarter. So obviously selected home loafers on foot, the jeans, the vest, and then the leather shirt that I picked up from weekday. And I think it's just a little bit more sophisticated than let's say like a flannel shirt, denim shirt or corduroy shirt, which are really casual looking vibes. Whereas this one, it, it does elevate the look a little bit more, but you can still wear it on like an everyday type of vibe, like going out to meet your friends, going shopping, whatever it might be. But it's just like the color palettes and the tones of it does bring it all together quite well. The blue, the white, the black, and the look of the shirt itself. And that's what I think, in my opinion, dresses it up a little bit more. The next look is definitely more on a casual vibe. And I think most of the looks will be casual, especially when you're pairing them with denim blue jeans. So with this one, we've got the Vomeros on foot blue jeans, and then the JW Anderson X Uniqlo quarter zip sweatshirt or Uniqlo X JW Anderson, however you want to say it. And then on top, I've got a cap from Nike, Zalando, picked it up from Zalando, I'm pretty sure. And then I finished it off with a tote bag just to add that pop of color. And I love this one because it's so simple. As you can see, like both of the looks work quite well together in terms of the blue denim jeans. You've got the straight leg or wider fit leg, and it's just stack and sit quite nicely on the trainers. But then if you wanted to go for more of a tapered look and maybe more of a cropped look, then you go with the space weekday jeans. So just a little bit shorter than the other ones. So when you're walking, you can just see like the socks sticking out a little bit. Now this next look, and probably a favorite of mine, just because I love the aesthetic that boots give an outfit. And I've got these chunky boots from Zara on foot, which you guys have seen before. You guys, you know how it is. You know, I love these boots. Denim blue jeans, running hoodie, 
top man overcoat and then I finished it off with the olive clothing beanie which I wanted to add just to add that pop of color again and I love this look and aesthetic because let's say if you switched out the boots for a pair of trainers whatever trainers that might be like it just completely changes the whole vibe like when I'm wearing this outfit you still feel casual but a little bit more dressed up because you've got the boots on the overcoat and they all just work well and it just complements each other quite nicely the only thing that I would say is if you want to try this look or if you're in if you do like this look then I would definitely suggest getting an overcoat that's just a bit longer in terms of the length like I like this top man overcoat but the length you know it doesn't really do it for me like I want it to go past my knee and I think that's when they look the best because if they don't go past the knee nah, I don't know it doesn't look quite right like obviously it's still casual but maybe a little corporate-ish I don't know I don't like it and I probably will get rid of this overcoat at some point because I don't wear it a lot but anyway going on the tangent that's that look let's move on <laughs> I couldn't do this video without bringing the roll neck into the equation. I was definitely going for more of a sophisticated, smarter looking aesthetic, but I couldn't achieve that 100% just because of the boots that I've got on. And the way that I would achieve this, of course, obviously, is swap out the boots, go for a classical looking Chelsea boot. Let's say one with a thinner sole. Obviously, thinner soles do look a lot smarter. Definitely stay away from the pointy Chelsea boots, but you could go for like some wire cells as well. And then we've got the denim blue jeans, the roll neck, and then the leather jacket. Of course, denim does make an outfit quite casual, but you can achieve that smarter looking aesthetic. You know, one, by pairing it with some smart boots, two, tucking in the roll neck, and then three, I guess if you wanted to swap out the leather jacket, you could go for like a wool overcoat, which again, make sure that it does go past the knees, as I mentioned previously. And you could chuck on like a scarf, maybe a cap, maybe a beanie as well. I know caps and beanies do make it look a little bit more casual, but you know, test it out, see how it looks. And it depends on the occasion, depends on the event. You know, people wear caps with suits these days, so it could potentially work. So with this next look, I'm getting mad American collegiate vibes. So on foot, we've got the New Balance 990s, blue denim jeans, white t-shirt, green sweatshirt from Carhartt, and then this Nike cap on top to finish it off. And I know that we've got five colors here. We've got black, blue, white, green, beige, but they all just work well together. There's a harmony, there's a synergy, and I just love the aesthetic and the way that the colors are playing off of each other. I think it's a great look and a great aesthetic. So obviously if you want to bring in more than one color to an outfit, just make sure that there's gonna be a synergy and that it does work well and you're not going too crazy. Obviously it's fashion. I'm still a fan of like color blocking if you do it in the right way but don't go too crazy guys. But I didn't think the outfit was finished just yet. I thought I could just give it that further dad aesthetic, dad vibe, collegiate vibe. If I just chucked on a tote bag as well, again, adding a little bit more color. So we've got some more tones in there. And I do think it just gives it that icing on the cake. Now this last look, I wasn't really going to include because it's just so simple and everyone knows like this is the easiest way to style blue jeans and it's with a bloody white t-shirt, obviously. Keeping it simple, keeping it easy, don't have to reinvent the wheel. Acne Studios on foot, blue denim jeans, white oversized t-shirt which I got from weekdays and you can get an oversized tee from anywhere. Of course, if you wanna change the look in any type of way, then you could go for more of a fitted t-shirt, tuck the t-shirt in, put on a shirt, a cardigan, however you wanna dress it up, but white t-shirts always work best. So there's not really too much to say on that one, guys. So hopefully I've given you guys some inspiration for styling denim blue jeans and also giving you an alternative to the Levi 501s. So if you're thinking about buying them, I would say go to weekday first so you don't have to spend loads of money. Like the jeans are probably maximum 50 pounds. And yeah, that's how much I paid, I think for both pairs. 
jeans and they're great quality and I think that they'll hold up for a considerable amount of time. Comment in the comment section below on what you thought of this video, how you like the style denim blue jeans, if you have any suggestions for videos that I should do in the future or if you prefer just drop me a message on Instagram, I'm always going to respond and I love to hear your suggestions and your feedback and I appreciate all the love that you guys have been giving me so thank you so so much. The next week there's going to be another video and I'm really excited about this one as well. Got a lot of things that I want to show you guys. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok and hit that like and subscribe button. All of these things help me. But other than that, guys, I will see you next week. Peace.